my four-year-old brother decided to play with a lighter. And he lit some curtains on fire. I was sitting in an infant seat. All the kids got out of the mobile home and I was left uh, in the burning mobile home until firefighters were able to rescue me. I sustained third degree burns over 33% of my body and I've had over or at least 85 reconstructive surgeries over the last 22 years. Common Voices is an advocates coalition that is determined to create a fire safe America. My name is Jeff Jordan and I am a burn survivor from Spring Green, Wisconsin. Common Voices and advocating on behalf of fire sprinklers is important to me because the more people take fire sprinklers seriously and consider them and put them in their home, uh, the better opportunity they have to keep themselves and their families safe. perception is that no matter how big my fire is or how little my fire is, a fireman's going to get there and save me. The truth is, in America, the response time for our fire department is they strive for five minutes and people are dead usually in three. Most of our commercial buildings have fire sprinklers, but that's not where the fires are occurring that are killing people. We're protected where we work and then we go home we lay down, go to sleep at night, and many people think, well, I, it's okay, I, I'm in a new home. New homes don't burn. How many times have you heard that? But the fact is that not only do new homes burn, they burn hotter, they burn faster, and they actually prove to be more deadly than an older home. My wish would be that people would take fire sprinklers seriously and consider them for their home or put them in their home. A lot of people think that uh, fires can't happen to them or that it won't happen to them. Well, I've met plenty of people who may have thought that and realized that it did happen to them because it did happen to me and it can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm.